the history of English. This is the first of three short videos that will describe some of the most important developments in the history of the English language. The goal is to help you understand how English has become the language that we know today, where it came from, how it survived, how it evolved, and how it spread around the world. English is now a global language, spoken by over 500 million native speakers, but it's also widely used for communication in business, science, technology, and politics by millions of other speakers as a common lingua franca, or a language that everyone understands. So how did this happen? Invasions. One answer to this question is because of the numerous movements of people in the form of migrations, occupations, settlements, and most importantly, invasions. By the end of the fifth century, the collapse of the Roman Empire left Britain exposed to adventure-hungry Anglo-Saxon tribes who started to invade the British Isles. At the beginning, these expeditions were limited to raids on coastal areas, after which the invaders returned home with their treasure, as well as some slaves. But gradually, they began to settle and expand their domination over the indigenous Celtic tribes in what would later become England. By the 8th century, England was completely controlled by the Anglo-Saxon tribes, and England was divided into seven kingdoms, as can be seen here on this map. Many of these names are still used today, such as Northumbria, East Anglia, Essex, Kent, Sussex and Wessex. This was the real beginning of the English language, as the Anglo-Saxons spoke a Germanic language, which left its mark on everyday words that are still used today. But after three centuries of occupation, a new wave of invasions threatened to destroy the society and language created by the Anglo-Saxons. This time, it was the Vikings who arrived and quickly took control of many of the kingdoms. But instead of destruction, the Anglo-Saxons managed to fight and resist the new invaders. After a key victory at the Battle of Eddington in 878, King Alfred the Great forced the newly arrived Vikings to accept a negotiated division of England into two zones. To the north, the Danelaw, and to the south, Anglo-Saxon rule. For the next 200 years, the groups coexisted and gradually mixed over time through intermarriages and trade exchanges. However, the greatest invasion in the history of England came later, with the victory of William the Conqueror at the Battle of Hastings in 1066 over the English King Harold. Within a hundred years, the Norman lords had taken control of the whole of England and had transformed the way the society was organised into a feudal system. All lands were taken from Anglo-Saxon lords and were redistributed to Norman French barons. In this new system, William the Conqueror had complete power, but he gave lands to his barons in return for their loyalty, who in return promised the support of their knights and soldiers for any military campaigns. At the bottom of this society were the peasants, who did all the work, and also spoke English. The ruling elite, on the other hand, spoke Norman French and ate pork, beef and mutton served to them by the English peasants who worked the land and cared for the pigs, cows and sheep.